Well, hello everyone. My name is Diana and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you what I packed for my travel to the UK as a nurse. I'm going to start off by preparing four pieces of pants. Then I have four pieces of shorts. Four pieces of dresses and five pieces of tops or blouses. I also bought two sets of turtle neck long sleeves from Uniqlo. Next is my bath towel and I got these two cute fleece jackets from a local thrift store to save money. Then I also got this undergarment shorts from Uniqlo. Also I got two pieces of heat tech sleeves and three pieces of heat tech leggings from Uniqlo still. Moving over to this section, I placed my underwear, brochures, and cycling shorts in a transparent bag to save more space. By the way, I'm planning to bring this um, storage bin that I bought from Daiso Japan, uh, which I love. I also love this tote bag from Daiso Japan, which is pretty spacious and it can fit a lot of things, especially when I'll go grocery shopping. Next, I bought a cute pink umbrella from Miniso. I heard that the weather condition in UK is pretty much abnormal, so this is also a good deal. Next, I also prepared three pairs of colored socks that I'll use for growing out. Then it's important to bring a pair of black socks which is required if you're working in the hospital. I prefer to just buy an additional pair when I am already in UK. I'll also bring two notebooks aside from my iPad which I will use while I'm studying for the OSCE. Next, I will bring a bunch of pens which I will, which I will use um, most of the time while I'm working in the hospital. So it is safe to bring three pieces of pen for each color. You may also opt out to buy these when you come but it's all up to you. Next, I have two pieces of highlighters that I bought before which is pretty useful while studying for any exam. And no, it is quite cheap as shown in the price tag. I'll also bring this correction tape just in case I need it. And a glue stick from Echo Solutions. I also included some binder clips. And my favorite Lipogen juice mix. Next, I have my travel size bottle containers that I bought a while ago from Watson's which is perfect for storing liquids and toiletries whenever I go on a trip. My toothbrush, but I didn't buy toothpaste in advance since it's readily available. I bought these moisturizing soaps from Dove. I love the smell and it keeps my body super moisturized. But you may also bring any soap you want whichever is best for your skin type. A body lotion from Vaseline. Those of you who don't know, this is a clothes steamer from Shopee. So far, it's very efficient and cost effective. I prefer to use it instead of a flat iron because it's quite bulky. My most favorite device is my hair blower that I use to dry my hair almost every single day. I am a major coffee lover and I like it plain, so I make sure to pack some coffee sticks that could last me a month. I thought of bringing some snack bites like Ding Dong. One pack of happy. Another pack of happy classic nuts. And a perfectly packaged bomb. Just kidding! It's a bagoong from Barrio Bistro. And now 
now let's move on to our medicines. I have two packs of paracetamol. The Syndex D for common colds, allergic rhinitis, and sinusitis. Some carbocysteine. Vitamin C plus zinc. And some bioflu. These are Nizeral creams from my Kaspersky, aka Dandruff. Also, I got my Katinko oil liniment. And an ointment. Next, don't forget to bring some echo bags to save some money while grocery shopping. And last but not the least, my shoulder bag. So that's all for the check-in luggage. I also forgot to buy a tabo, so I bought it the next day and put it inside. For me, it's helpful to have a list of items that you have inside the luggage so you can easily picture out the essentials that you need to bring and separate those that you don't need to maximize your luggage capacity. Let's move on to my hand carry luggage. I bought one pair of black shoes, which I will use for work. My employer requires me to wear lace-up, wiper wool, fabric, or leather shoes, so it's best to check with them first before you buy one. As you can see, I have one running shoes and one outer shoes. Also, a pair of gloves for very cold weather. Then, don't forget to bring your documents with you. I also love this cute neck pillow from Miniso since I will be traveling for hours. Of course, it won't be complete without my makeup kit. I have my lipstick, some brow liner, some foundation, beauty blender, some hand cream for my eyelashes, a blush, my favorite lip tint, a concealer for my eye bags, brush, another blush, wipes, another wipes, my card holder, and two Advils, oh another Simdex, and my sharpener for my brow liner, and a cute container. So that's it. As you can see, I still have some space for other things, and it's pretty light to carry too. That's all for the hand carry luggage. And now for my backpack. This is where I will put my iPad and all my electronics like power bank, type C adapters, cords, and etc. So now I've finished packing my things and I'm ready to fly to the UK. Don't forget to hit subscribe and comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video!